Science Lesson 57. Let's go ahead and start with the review of chart 9. ING says ing, 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 and pointing. KN says n, 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 and not. GN says n, 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 and not. ANG says ang, 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 and bang. ING says ing, 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 and king. ONG says ong, 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 and long. UNG says ung, 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 and strong. ANK says ank, 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 and bank. INK says ink, 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 and wink. ONK says onk, 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 and honk. UNK says unk, 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 and trunk. WA says wa, 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 and wash. A says uh, 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 and adopt. Y says e, 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 and baby. L, E says oh, 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 and little. E, D says ed, 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 and wanted. E, D says t, 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 and looked. E, D says d, 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 and played. All right, so let's go ahead and start with reviewing some rhyming words. Remember, words that rhyme, they sound the exact same at the end of the word. So I have the word ride. What are some words that sound just like ride and they have that eyed? You could say hide or side, okay? Best, best. What words sound just like best and they have that est sound at the end? You could say nest or chest. Cheat, cheat. What words have that eat sound at the end? Cheat. You could say meat or beat. Okay? Rhyming words. And so you see most of, most of the time they'll have some of the same exact letters. Okay? So that makes it easier to spell them out. All right. So we've also learned what's called a root word. That's our beginning word. The word that we start off with. The word that can be, that is a word on its own. But we also learn what's called a suffix, that is what you can add to the end of a word to make it into a new word. We've learned suffix ing. Remember that hyphen tells us that we are connecting a word to, I mean the suffix to a root word. Okay? So remember we mark it differently. We underline the root word and we circle the suffix. So underline the root word, swing. Circle the suffix ing. The word is swing. In swinging. <clears throat> Next one. Underline the root word chirp. Circle the suffix ing. The word is chirping. Chirping. Next, underline the root word boil. Circle the suffix ing. The word is boiling. Last one. Underline the root word fly. Circle the suffix ing. The word is flying. Swinging, chirping, boiling, flying. Remember, ing is a suffix. We add it to the end of root words. All right, so we also learn what's called a syllable. A syllable means parts of a word. Whenever we have parts of a word, we call it syllables. So we learn how to say a word, we clap to figure out how many syllables. So if I have the word education, let's clap it out. Education. How many syllables? Four. There were four parts, four claps. Okay. What about the word permission? Permission. How many? Three syllables. What about airplane? Airplane. Two syllables, two parts. Telephone. Telephone. How many? Three. Telephone. Okay. So those are syllables. That's how we learned how to identify syllables. But I will show you how to identify syllables in words. Uh, when, we, when we identify syllables, it's, it helps us to read bigger words. Like for example, these are bigger words. So there are rules we will learn how to divide big words so that it makes it easier to read it. Okay, so we can divide between what's called the double letters, the double consonants. And you can see all of these have double letters, right? They have the same letter twice. So what you would do is split between those same letters like that, okay? So now we broke it into two, so that means two syllables, and now we can read it easier. So we have bonnet, bonnet, okay? Again, let's split between the two letters. Dinner, dinner. 
Again, divide between the two letters. Nug, get, nugget. And this one here, slip, per, slipper. You see that? So you will practice it in your book. So that's one way we can divide syllables is by dividing it between the double letters like that. So anytime you see double letters in a word and you're not sure which word it is, split it between the double letters and then break down each side. Mark the vowels, mark the special sounds, and then it will help you to read the word easier and faster. Okay, so that's our phonics lesson today. You can do work with page 57.